Here's a quick demonstration of my audio amplifier box and my custom subwoofer. The box starts with just a 1 8 inch input, so I have a quarter inch to eighth inch adapter for the speaker output on my Audient Evo 8. Then it runs into these switches. The circuit diagram shows the actual connections that the switches make, but here's the basic idea of what they do. At the bottom level, everything's off and disconnected. In the middle level, we've got line level output to the speakers. That is, whatever aux input you put into the box, it just pumps that back out into the speakers. It might break some things, but I haven't had it break anything, so I think it's fine to do that. The sound quality in this setting is almost as good as headphones, so if I'm making music, I usually keep it in this setting. Next up is the 30 watt amplification. So essentially, the outputs of the aux go into the input of the amplifier, and then the speakers are connected to the outputs of the amplifier. It is very loud, but the sound quality is a little bit lower. There's some weird phase offset I can't explain, and there is a lot of noise you can hear from this sample. But hey, uh, as long as I keep the gain a little bit low, I don't blow up my eardrums, and I don't hear too much harmonic distortion, so it works pretty well and gives a lot of volume. Since the Audient Evo 8 has four audio outputs, I'm able to run a separate output for my headphones. And then that's also how I run audio to my subwoofer. I unplug my headphones and plug that output into a janky little cable that I made. That goes down to a subwoofer. And then I enable a low-pass filter in software, so I don't have to do any fancy hardware low-pass filter. And then I get plenty plenty of bass. Finally, here's a little more information about the subwoofer. I got it at the thrift store, and it was originally wireless. I looked it up on Reddit and saw that someone said converting it to wired would be a project not worth doing. Well, anyways, here's the audio input jack that I added. It's just an RCA connector from an old AV receiver. And here's the amplifier circuit, and there's a little laptop power supply in there. One small important bit is that I coupled the left and right channels on the input of the amplifier. Works great. That was not worth it. And that's about it for the external side of my audio setup. Thanks for watching, and check out the Discord if you have questions, or just put it in the comments, you know.